The monument is called Alberta's Broken Families, a monument to workers killed or injured because of unsafe workplaces, was unveiled in a solemn ceremony organized by the Edmonton and District Labor Council on Saturday, April 28, 2012. It's the International Day of Mourning. Entitled Broken Families, the monument stands in Edmonton, Grant Nutley's Park, close to the statue of the former provincial NDP leader who died in 1984. Look at that. There's a missing person. So, this is what happened. The title is A Broken Families, designed by Mimi Von Gaza. A broken family is still a family, only with broken dreams and broken hearts. Here stands a memorial for those who died at work and those who are left behind. Look at the future, remember the past, and let not their deaths be in vain. That is by Michael Brown. Grant Nutley Park is located at 11603 100 Avenue. Grant Nutley Park sits right at the heart of downtown Edmonton. I'm seeing a gazebo over that side, so let's go, guys. Tignan natin what kind of gazebo is this. Ayan. At ang sabi, the gazebo, which is at the center of the park, becomes the resting place for everyone as it provides warmth and comfort. And andyan naman ang monument ni Walter Grant Nutley. Grant Nutley was a Canadian politician. He served as a member of the Legislative Assembly of Alberta from 1971 to 1984 and also served as the leader of the Alberta NDP from 1968 to 1984. The bright light inside the gazebo warmed the night sky. Just relaxing at the park provided me with a sense of comfort among the chaotic street scenes and loud soundscapes of the city. The park gives an overview of the beauty of the whole city. Whether you want to see the sun rising in the sky or come along in the dusk hours to see the bright city lights, this park provides the ideal location to enjoy beautiful scenic views of the city and escape the daily routine of regular life. Very peaceful view guys and look at the trees. Ang ganda. Green na green ang kulay nila. Ayan, tignan ninyo, overlooking view. You can sit, relax, and enjoy the view. Meron pong mga bench at the side, guys. And if you're bored and you want to read, ayan po, meron kayong makukuhang books dyan. You can uh, borrow the books and after you read, you can return them. Ayan, guys. Meron po dyan ang hiraman ng books. If you're feeling ambitious and want to explore the area around the park, you can also follow the trail and walk up 100 Avenue. There, you can explore the views of the Victoria Golf Course on the left and the high-rising apartments to the right. That's a golf course in front of us. I've seen a golf cart a while ago and people playing golf. Walk away on 100 Avenue goes on for a few hundred meters with benches on one side if anyone wants to sit and enjoy the city skyline. Across the park, there's an area of buildings such as the low level and the high level bridge along with the U of Alberta's Hub Mall, which becomes lit up at night. The street lights shine bright, lighting up the walkway as the path zigzags its way ahead. The park offers some of the best views of our beautiful city, including the downtown skyline, North Saskatchewan River, and the Victoria Golf Course, and also, of course, the University of Alberta. It's a wonderful place to watch the seasons change and all the lovely in winter and summer. It truly shines in vibrant green and gold. There are many places to sit quietly in the park, and if you watch, you will notice birds, bees, butterflies, and even chipmunks. There are stairs and paths 
that connect you to Victoria Park and the River Valley below, making it part of the longest stretch of urban parkland in North America. And like most natural areas, there is always something different to observe. This week in June, guys, the wild rose was in fragrant full bloom and the caterpillars had been busy in the poplar trees. So if you're living in Edmonton, please don't miss coming here at Grant Nutley Park. It's really an amazing place. It's really and truly a great escape in the heart of the city. Yes, and guys, I'm loving the place. And as you can see, that's the North Saskatchewan Bridge. Yan overlooking, guys, di ba? Ang ganda. May kaliitan lang po yung park, but a little less than one square block. But they have used the space quite effectively. And uh, you can meet different people. May mga all this and of course mga young may mga lovers sitting on the side and uh, yeah it's a very beautiful place gusto ko lang pong idagdag sa aking uh, story yung about sa uh, Alberta's Broken Families the monument ay uh, gawa po ito ng stainless steel granite and concrete and makikita nyo po sa four sides merong mga larawan and there's a missing person. Yun, yun yung family. And uh, one of the members of the family went to work and never come home. Kasi nga may nangyari ng aksidente sa kanya. The monument will not only commemorate those who have died before, it aims to educate people so future deaths can be prevented. That's the aim of the monument, guys. Ayan, para ma-prevent natin yung accident. At this time of the year, when families come together for the holidays, it's particularly important to remember that some family members are missing because of fatal accidents in the workplace. So, let us always be safe and uh, take extra precautions when we go to work. Brian Henderson, President of the Edmonton and District Labor Council, explained the title, There are 123 families in Alberta who are grieving for the family members they lost last year. People who died last year as a result of going to work, while it's a drop from the previous year's total of 136 dead. It's still higher than two years ago. And according to uh, Brian Henderson, this is a dangerous place to work and we need to do more to keep Alberta safe. And now I'm going back to the parking area where Andre is uh, waiting for me. At uh, super na enjoy ko po talaga yung view. Ayan ulit ang gazebo. Medyo may kalumaan pero na maintain naman nila. Pininturahan ng sky blue. Ayan at ang puno ay bagong bagong sibol ang kanilang mga dahon. Ang ganda niya tignan. Nakaka relax ng damdamin. Ayan guys, sana po ay nag-enjoy po kayo sa aking video at sana po ay nagustuhan ninyo ito. Please don't forget na pa-like naman po and uh, mag-leave lang po kayo ng comment sa comment box. And please guys, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe at uh, pindutin na rin po ang notification bell para naman po ma-update po kayo lagi sa aking mga videos. Marami pa po akong mga i-upload para makita po ninyo kung gaano kaganda ang Canada at uh, may share ko naman sa inyo yung mga pinupuntahan ko guys. Ayan guys, salamat po and again, please subscribe to Asians Adventures and Travel and uh, always watch my video guys. Thank you! I love you all. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. See you again on my next vlog. Bye for now.